You're telling me this isn't terrifying? If you were a kid, you wouldn't just be having nightmares of this thing? I mean, come on. I'm a grown adult this thing scares the hell out of me. All right, let's go check some more out, huh? You guys, it's finally happening. We're finally starting to see it. The leaves are starting to change colors, boys. It's October. We've got maybe my favorite season of the year happening right now. We're in fall. That means it's sweatshirt weather. Rocking the Twin Peaks Chicago pothead sweatshirt. And now there's no better way to start the fall season than to have ourselves a little bit of a fall day. So that's what I'm gonna do for you guys today. I'm taking you guys on a nice little fall walk that's just outside of Chicago. And there's also something about fall that just makes me wanna go get a beer, not just anywhere, but at a brewery. There's something about brewery beers and fall that just fit together perfectly for me. So I'm gonna take you guys to a really cool brewery that also has maybe the best pizza pop-up in the city happening there today. But first, there's no better way to start a fall day. That's to go get some coffee on a nice fall day. Coffee and a walk just slaps in the fall, if you ask me. So we are heading to a spot, a spot in Lakeview that I've been wanting to try for a little little while now. It's called Oler Coffee, and it's uh, right down the street from me, so let's go, let's go check it out. It's right just north of Diversity on Broadway. It's such a tiny little spot. I, it's on my run route, so I've been running past it like every morning, like wanting to go there and hit this spot up. I got the chai latte, that's what I almost always get. It's so delicious. But it's cute, it's tiny, it's an adorable little spot. So, like it, got our coffee, got a little morning walk in. Now before we go to our little, I don't know if you'd call it a hike, our little park walk, our little fall park walk we're gonna go on, I have something really, really cool to show you guys at home. Here we go. Okay, I am so stoked about this, guys. I can't believe I honestly haven't showed you guys this yet, but check this out. So this, sorry for killing, if you don't know, is the stand-up show that I run at the Laugh Factory with Zacho. You guys have seen him on the vlog a ton of times, I'm sure. But we got a few months ago, I don't know if you guys know who that is and that is, or what this is, but what it is, is our very own Sorry for Killing branded pre-rolls, bro. How freaking cool is that? So here's why I'm showing this to you guys today. This ties right into our weekly shout out for people who donate. Three times Derek Boudreaux donated, that's one, two, three Derek Boudreaux donations, two for two bucks, one for five bucks. Thank you so much, so appreciated. We also got $50 from Courtney Basinger. Massive, you guys have no idea how much that helps. I mean, that's the whole reason I'm able to go do stuff like this. That kind of the reason for today's video, definitely the reason why I'm showing you guys these awesome pre-rolls we got. Paul Jover donated 50 bucks. He said, hey, this is for some beers, a joint, and pizza on me, and we're getting you all three of those things today, Mr. Paul. I'm gonna roll a sorry for killing pre-roll that we're gonna take down to the park, and then we're gonna go to that brewery and get some beer, and it's got some of the best pizza in the city, so you're getting everything you asked for Mr. Paul and big big shout out to everyone else who donated just to let you guys know I'm trying to figure out a way that I can put these for sale online I'm hoping soon I'll be able to get something solved so you guys can actually buy these which I think would be really really sick Let me know down in the comments if this is something you'd be interested in purchasing or if I'm wasting my time throwing these online Anyways, let's uh, let's get this joint rolled so we can roll out to Morton Arboretum, eh? She was living in a single room with three other individuals one of them was a male and the other two well the other two were females God only knows what they were up to in there. And furthermore, Susan, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised to learn that all four of them habitually smoke marijuana cigarettes. Reefers. All right. 
right, we've got our sorry for killing joint. We're ready to go to the Morton Arboretum. It's like 45 minutes outside the city. It's 1,700 acres. And right now, they've got this art exhibit of these like large scale sculptures by this Polish artist. So that's kind of what we're going to check out. And um, yeah, let's, let's just go ahead and get there, huh? You take care, have a fun day. Appreciate you. Have, have yourself fun. a good one. All right, so we're at Morton Arboretum. It's uh, $17 if you buy early. Not that bad, wait till you guys see this. this place is beautiful. Got me a little map and guide for the uh, Of The Earth exhibit. That's the, the giant massive statue exhibit that we're gonna go check out. Yeah, I mean, 1,700 acres here. Probably spend hours here if we wanted. Let's go check it out. Find a nice secluded spot to light this, this, this Paul-sponsored Sorry For Killing Jay up and get to checking out some sick art, huh? God, I freaking love the fall. The first of the earth sculpture right at the visitor center. All right, let's cruise and find some more, huh? Where's my mind? Twisting up, leaving thoughts behind. I was gone before I go. The dirty as deeds justified merely by the need to sell them laying down alone. Here's the second of the earth. This is called Ear to the Ground. Also, I don't think I had any idea how traumatizing scarecrows were until they have this huge area of like, you kind of can't really see them, but there's scarecrows all around here and they are terrifying to look at. It's like a, I told Kyle, it's like, looks like a bunch of crucified children's toys. Like why they got one called King Chewbacca, which is Chewbacca held up on a crucifix. That ain't right, bro. Don't take your kids to no scarecrow land. That ain't, that ain't gonna give them healthy, healthy dreams. I promise you that. All right, let's keep let's keep exploring, huh? Feeling secluded enough, I think we can uh, bust out the treats. You don't want to be disrespectful and get caught, so don't get caught. Quick check in with you guys. This is some of the most beautiful fall weather to be going on a nice little hike through nature. So far, what are your thoughts on the uh, the experience at Morton Arboretum? My favorite weather. Liking the hike? I'm in there like booty hair, baby. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> my Christ almighty. You didn't see that one coming, did, did you? No. I was ill prepared for that. <laughs> so here's the deal though guys. When I was telling you about that whole 1700 uh, acres of land that they got here at this park, I don't know why, but I wasn't really considering the fact that I might not be able to cover that entire ground in this short time frame that I have to come and enjoy this beautiful location because they're only slinging pizzas until 6.30 tonight. We're gonna go hustle our way to a third of the earth sculpture and then we're gonna kick it home. Let's go catch this last guy, show it to you, then hit the road and go get some pizza at a fun little brewery. Let's cruise. Goat and a monkey A mule and a flea My husband fucked up. <laughs> now we gotta go home without seeing nature. So here's the deal guys. This place is too big. We could figure anything out. The, the map was it, was, it was useless. Maybe I suck with maps. I don't know, you be the judge. We didn't find the last one, but we did get a, a great nature walk in. This is still a great fall activity. I still feel like this fulfills today's goal. And I'm not gonna let you judge me if you are, okay? This is a judgment free zone. All right, we're gonna go hoof it back to the city. Hit up Off Color Brewing. Cool little brewery. I'm pretty sure it's right by IO. Well, we'll cruise there and let you know. Let's, uh, let's hit it.
off color brewing right here right on Kingsbury right there's IO so it's like kitty corner I guess they say and then uh, yeah we got the five squared pop-up I'm gonna smoke real quick and then we're gonna we're gonna get some food all right let's go get this pizza So we got, Steve's the legend by the way. Looks like he's gonna be slinging pizzas out of here like Thursday, Friday, Saturday for like permanently. I think he's getting a kitchen right around the corner. So Off Color is a place to be for five squares. I got their lager, tooth and cloth. Super delicious. Oh my God. You guys gotta see this. You don't need to look so appalled. I take care of it all. It's medicine now. Don't pick up. To say I'm happy as can be, I'm melting away. Don't get mad at me. Steve's favorite slice. Look at this one, guys. This is sausage jardinera, house cheese blend, tomato sauce, Italian sauce, it's hot jardinera. Oh, yeah, they're probably the best jardinera pizza I've ever I'm just sleeping lightly. It's my big day And I'm wasting it away Dude, Steve's the best. That's what we've been talking to off camera here. These pizzas are amazing. Big Red's my favorite. And the house cheese blend vodka sauce, Ezo pepperonis, burrata, and these uh, Calabrini chilies. They're like delicious and hot. And they got homemade ranch that's unbelievable. It's I'm just, not gonna have any to take home. I'm gonna have no. to We were both gonna try to take some home. It's too good. That right there is everything. The caramelized crust, that's what makes this, this is Detroit style pizza. And that's what makes Detroit style pizza great. Much like the caramelized crust of South Shore Bar Pizza, my all time favorite pizza. Mm. This is crazy how good this is. Gladly, aerosols drifting through the halls that hide us above. favorite pizza in the city. That's my favorite. This is my favorite. Without a doubt, this is my favorite. Yeah, probably it's mine too. It's so damn good. It's I amazing. love Detroit style. A lot of Detroit is too greasy. It's the perfect amount of not greasy where it's like you can eat a bunch of it. And plus the crazy like toppings and you get to pick four different slices. I like, I don't know. I love everything. Airy. About it. Airy. That's why I like it. Now we're just going to finish these beers. for the vlog, any parting words of wisdom? Eat more pizza. Yeah. I swear to God, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. I only need to say eat more pizza, I swear to God. All right, we'll see you later, brother. Have a good one. Yeah, this is sick. I wanted this one, but I let you have the better one, because I'm just gonna wear it to bed. <laughs> yeah, we grabbed some, uh, oh, let's show them the shirts real quick. Do I say both? Can I just show one? Yeah, just They're show the same. Same. one. Same design, we each got a different color. And they gave us one for free, basically. Yeah, they gave us a free one, so I tipped, did you see what I tipped them? 10 bucks, yeah. yeah. No one's giving me anything for free. And those like nice t-shirts. How sick. Oh, I love that. Right? 
They gave us both t-shirts. They tried to only charge us 14 bucks for it. I was like, nah, let me throw a $10 tip on here. You gotta earn your money. I hope you guys enjoyed. So that's, I feel like that's like a solid fall day. Also, Steve's the best. Get five squared if you're in the city. And Jen, which we didn't yes. see here today. His wife, Hi, Jen, Jen, is awesome too. But yeah, they're like camped out here more often. New story every week. Please like these videos. I keep forgetting when I have more likes on the videos, they get way more views, I've noticed. So like, please like the video and also subscribe if you haven't. And new story next week. Peace, guys. Summer, summer, summer.